The new Sony Spider-Man 2 game has been released, and by all accounts, people really like this game. I mean, you can see on Metacritic, it has a 90% amongst critics, a 9 out of 10 from audiences. So this game is pretty well received, but up until recently, there was some uh, kind of on shaky ground about whether this will get released in certain areas of the world. We got this article from Game Rant talking about it. This is from back in July, so just a couple months ago. Spider-Man 2 game could be getting banned or delayed in some countries. And if you just kind of scroll down into the highlights, because I'm not going to read the whole article, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video if you want to check it out yourself. Uh, Middle Eastern gamers are concerned that Marvel Spider-Man 2 may be delayed, censored, or banned in the region as pre-orders have not been opened and the release date is not listed in some countries. Middle Eastern countries such as Saudi Arabia have a history of censoring or banning games and Final Fantasy 16 remains banned due to LGBTQ plus content. While it is not certain if Spider-Man 2 has been blocked or censored, the lack of pre-orders and updates suggest a possible delay and a, the possible presence of LGBTQ plus representation in the game could potentially lead to it being banned. Well, there is some good news though for people in the Middle East that they can actually play this game because it is getting released there, but it's a different version of the game. Uh, and yeah, they are removing LGBTQ content and you can see from this Reddit post, uh, Spider-Man 2 Middle East version has removed LGBT uh, dialogue, side missions, and all gender spectrum flags. Uh, I mean, you see a zoomed in version of this. Uh, apparently there's some LGBT dialogue here that has been removed from the game. Uh, there's pride flags and there's also missions related to gay characters that they're removing from the game. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, this isn't the first time we saw this with a Spider-Man game. I mean, back when they had the first Spider-Man game, there was actually a mod that a person did for it that removed all the pride flags and replaced them with American flags. In fact, uh, this is a before and after uh, version of what that mod looked like. But the thing is, this actually wasn't necessarily a mod. This was basically them just saying, uh, taking the port of the Middle Eastern version and playing that instead, except just like changing out the dialogue and the text and things like that to English. So it's like, okay, I'm just going to get like the English from the version that's released in the West and then the uh, aesthetics of the Middle Eastern version and combine them together and play that one. And this is the mod that got uh, an account banned on Nexus, of course. And this is actually the statement from Nexus. The fact the user needed to make a sock puppet like a coward to upload the mod showed their intent to troll and that they knew it would not be allowed. The, to me, does this come across as them being just unnecessarily angry about it? I mean, they had to move, they had to make a sock puppet account like a coward and uploaded this just to troll. It's like, well, maybe they just like to look at the American flag more than just the pride flag. I mean, that seems to be entirely possible. I mean, maybe they just like the aesthetic better. I mean, who knows? I mean, but apparently Nexus just gets unreasonably mad. I mean, it's a site that hosts mods. I mean, they should just host whatever mods people want to put on there. I mean, it doesn't matter what, what it is. I mean, I guess as long as it's not posting anything illegal, uh, but whatever. I mean, actually, one thing that I thought would be kind of funny, because this is what got this account banned by just saying like, I want to play a different region's version of the game. What about if a person in the Middle East tried to mod the Spider-Man 2 and they're like, oh, I want the pride flag version of this. So I want to mod it to make pride flags. I mean, it'd be funny if Nexus banned that account because they basically set the precedent to like, no, we're going to ban accounts. If you try to mod the game to play a different region's version of the game. I mean, I don't expect that to happen, but I mean, that'd just be kind of funny to think about it. It's to kind of like a shoes on the other foot sort of situation. But the fact of the matter, I mean, this kind of goes to show like you'll get companies like this that are producing this type of game, throwing in pride stuff in there. They don't have any personal connections or personal qualms about anything. I mean, they're really only doing it just because they think they have to. They're trying to appease um, certain demographics of people. They're trying to improve their ESG scores and things like that. Uh, so they throw stuff like that in just to kind of pay lip service to it. But when push comes to shove, all they care about is making money. I mean, I mean, as you can see, I mean, they have no issue with removing this stuff from the game if it means they can sell more copies in a region of the world that doesn't allow this. And for people who are a part of these groups, I mean, you should take note of that because these companies actually don't support you, at least not the way you think they do. They just see you as 
a demographic that they can pander to. I mean, South Park has that episode coming out this week of the Pandaverse. I mean, this is just textbook of what that is. I mean, they're trying to pander to the certain demographics in order to actually make more money on it. But as soon as they feel like, okay, we can't make money off these demographics, then they'll just kick you through the curb because they don't actually care about you. And what's ridiculous is you'll get people who will defend this game because like, even though this game is really well received by people who've played it, uh, if this game was terrible and no one actually liked it, you're going to get people within these groups to defend it just because of the fact that they threw in a couple pride flags and that's it. I mean, I mean, to me, just have more standards or whatever, demand better quality of entertainment from these companies that are making entertainment. I mean, if it's not good, just say it's not good. Don't feel like you have to defend it just because they pay lip service to your group. Because if that's the case, then you really are the sucker that these studio executives think you are. But let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.